Trying Up Close is a new programme for Acme we're really excited about. It's an opportunity for us to explore the art and cultural heritage of China in much more detail than we'd normally be able to do through an integrated programme of exhibitions, films, live events and digital programmes. What we wanted to do in the context of China Up Close was to show audiences the work of Yang Fudong in depth to be able to provide an opportunity for audiences to go into the gallery and to see the work of an artist working in China today. Yang Fudong's Filmscapes is an exhibition which is incredibly elegant and immersive while at the same time dealing with issues which can be confronting, which can make us think about our world and how we live in it and how it's moving forward in new ways. He brings a knowledge and an understanding not only of Western film culture but of Chinese film culture. He refers to the noir traditions in both regions. He plays with the avant-garde. He brings this whole history and language and he brings them together in quite a sophisticated and complex way. And I think that's something that sits very well in our galleries alongside our film programs and our talks programs. The Chinese film and cultural landscape is in a, a really dynamic place right at the moment. The Chinese film industry particularly has got such great tradition, such uh, a very uh, different eye, a very different perspective. Its influence has been within Hollywood but also now in a much more independent sector as well. We've tried to pull in as much different material as we possibly can from documentaries to feature films. We've got the fantastic uh, feature film, A Touch of Sin. You can't do a, a Chinese program without um, having some of the masterworks of people like uh, Wong Kar Wai. So we have his epic film, The, uh, the Grand Master. It's um, one of Wong Kar Wai's most recent works. He hasn't uh, produced a work for a little while. So uh, this one is a monstrous big screen film. So with the clashing of a, a new way against great old cinematic and artistic and, and cultural traditions, it's the, the time is perfect for us to be able to look at China in this way. So we have a really expansive public program for China Up Close and it has a symposium at the heart of it that will be a really interesting focus on the cultural sector and looking at leadership across the cultural sector and China and Australia's engagement. We have some talks around uh, China and perspectives on China now and each of those talks is related to a film. In our kids program we'll be looking at shadow puppetry, uh, we'll explore in our green screen a really old Chinese fable and we will also be looking at lantern making as part of that whole kids engagement program and also we have a residency with uh, Metaverse which is a augmented reality nail um, artist collaboration which is a kind of interesting group that traverse Shanghai, Melbourne and Hong Kong and they deal with technologies as sort of a uh, kind of brand and artistic statement and so our young people in the Intermix program will be working with them. So there's a great diversity in the program that we're going to offer as part of China Up Close as you would imagine when you think about some, a place like China.